Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. <clears throat> that was an extremely interesting and comprehensive survey of what uh, in the title we called The Road Ahead. Um, we're now open to questions from the floor. I would ask people asking questions to identify themselves and to put questions rather than to make statements, please. Sir. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. My name is Abdulaziz Ali Ibrahim Hildivan, an author and, and commentator of the Somali politics. And my question is simply is that, that there is a growing number of Somalis living in the United Kingdom and the European countries and who collect this on behalf of Al-Shabaab money and, and send this back to Somalia. And my worry is it's not only Al-Shabaab back home in Somalia, but there is people, number of people who collect this or represent them and or trying to advocate and what Al-Shabaab is doing in Somalia. So what would you like to say to the Somalis living in, in this country and the European countries? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Haldivan. And I think I have one of your books on Makawud uh, Dagan It's a collection of Somali constitutions, and it's a very good book. And thank you for producing that one. Um, the Al Shabaab, you know, um, Al Shabaab is not a Somali problem. And Al Qaeda in Somalia is not a Somali problem. It's not a regional problem, actually. It's a global problem. It's a global threat. And that's why uh, the London conference was held uh, uh, yesterday. It's one of the reasons uh, the issue of terrorism in Somalia uh, spreading to other parts of the world. Now, uh, my advice to you, the Somali community here and everywhere else in the world, is first of all, if you want to help Somalia, first of all, you have to help yourself here in the country that you in. The countries that welcome you, the countries that adapted you, the countries that gave you peace, safety, and succor. Become uh, good citizens in your country. Become good amb ambassadors for Somalia. And that will be my advice uh, to Somalis everywhere. Uh, in the diaspora. Um, one thing that we have failed in Somalia, and I think the TFG has failed, and other countries and other, uh, others who were uh, concerned about al Shabaab and its ideology, was that we never get a counter-narrative of the narrative that they used, subducting our children to an obnoxious ideology. So what we have to do in Somalia and outside Somalia is to get a, a, a narr counter-narrative of the wrong narrative that they have been using, the real narrative, the good one, the right one, the Islamic one. And that's, I think, how we can be able to win the hearts and the minds of our kids and make sure that they will not uh, fall into the wrong hands and into the wrong ideas. And, uh, and hopefully we will, we will be there soon, inshallah. Mr. Prime Minister, on behalf of the audience and of Chatham House, I'd like to thank you most warmly for this extremely rich and encouraging uh, speech you've given tonight. And thank you also to the audience for asking excellent questions which have allowed the Prime Minister to cover a very broad series of issues. I apologize to those whose questions we can't take, but we have to ration it. But we wish you all the success in the world. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.